Hi Floss Tube, I'm back. Sorry, I ran out of storage space on my iPad, so I uploaded the other video. Now I'm going to quickly finish recording this one and upload this one, and then we'll be done with Floss Tube number four, I believe. I just called it by February 2017 because I forgot what number it was. Anyway, so I was talking about the fabric and it being Ada, and I don't actually mind dyed. Ada, because usually it's not as stiff as other kind. So, while this isn't as soft as I've had before, uh, it's still pretty good. And I think it will be beautiful. I did get, um, I ordered, well, first of all, I ordered two before I even picked out the fabric of the, um, the special uh, thread gatherers color because I apparently didn't read the thing correctly and I was worried that it would only be one skein and that the thing called for two so I ordered two but actually one order was for two skeins cause, which makes more sense because I was like wow eleven dollars for one skein that's a lot but I was like well uh, Heaven and Earth Designs was like the first designer I came across that wasn't Dimensions. And so I'm pretty excited about this sow. But now that I have the 18 count, I'm probably going to need more than just two skeins. So I'm glad that I did actually order two and then got four. Uh, so this is the colors. They're so beautiful. The blues and the greens. Which suits you know, heaven and earth, heaven, the sky, blue, earth, green, and uh, this is what that looks like against the fabric. Isn't that beautiful? It's going to stand out so nicely. I also got the accentuate and the beads, which are really beautiful. I ordered all of these separate before I knew she was going to do a kit. Um, I'm just in so many cross-stitch groups, it's hard to keep track of what's going on where and all the updates and stuff like that. So I probably missed the original post that she was putting up a kit. Otherwise I would have just waited for that and got the presentation box because I've always wondered what that's like, like to order a kit. It, like I see the unboxing videos and it looks so pretty. Um, and then I, like, put kits into the shopping cart, and then in the end, I'm always like, no, don't spend that much money right now, or, because I'm a serial starter, so I'm worried about, like, spending that much money on a kit, because I jump from project to project, which is why I just work from a master set of DMC instead of individually kitting up every project. But anyways, enough blathering about that. Um... So that will be started, well, my boyfriend texted about dinner, so it might not be started tonight. I don't know. Oh, jeez Louise. Anyways, I'm still excited about it, though. While I was uploading, I, um, I got, I ordered these project bags from Amazon that I've seen some of the rest of you guys use. Um, my boss gave us a $50 Amazon gift card for Christmas. And I've been, like, debating for two months what to spend it on. And so this was $15 for 12 of these. And so I put, which actually ended up being the perfect amount to just try them out now. But I think I'm probably going to order more. Because I put the sals each in their own little bag so it's easy to grab and go and then I put my three main family projects in the three remaining bags. So it ended up being actually the perfect amount of bags. And I'll probably order more and eventually try to switch out all my projects into them. Because um, they're just, they're really flexible. And I've discovered with all of them, I can put the pattern over here and the fabric over here and it fits perfectly and then I can fold it in half to store it if I want or I can keep it out like this it just really is 
a really good size. And so, um, if anyone's wondering, like, how to store, because I have been storing in Ziploc bags, but sometimes it's a struggle to put everything I want in there. Like, if I want a key snap, and I want the fabric, and I want the threads, and the paper pattern, like, it a struggle to fit it all in a Ziploc bag but this is actually it really is the perfect size I think these were the A4 I'm not positive if anyone wants I can link to the uh, to the actual Amazon um, mind blank Amazon product and then the those silks came in this nice little bag look at that Michelle really does an outstanding job of um, making her products stand out. Okay, so I don't know if I got, ever showed you guys um, the bullet journal I'm doing just for tracking the time spent on my projects, but so I created a separate page for each uh, project, and then I color in the amount of time I spent on it, and I put each product project's name, into the index. And so at the end, I'll actually know how much time I spent on each project. I've never been able to, or really figured out a good way to keep track before. And this is working really well. I'm about two or three weeks behind on updating it just with everything that's been going on. Um, it's not top priority at the moment. Now I want to update you really quick on um, I haven't done a lot of crochet, but I have been doing some quilting, and so I wanted to show you some of that. Um, my sister Alex, she's 15, she'll be 16 in September, is my, um, I was going to say my only sister without a quilt, but I have actually started but not given one of my sisters a quilt because I hate it, but my mom says it suits her and it looks nice, but I still hate it. But anyways, so Alex, when she was here visiting this month, we went to the store, and I didn't actually intend on buying fabric yet, but we found, like, the perfect ones for her, and so uh, we've cut them out into the sizes I'm going to need, so let me just show you. We have, um, we're going for, like, a galaxy theme, I'm guessing. So we have, like, this, purples with gold. This one's blue with gold. Then we have another purple with gold. Um, a turquoise and black with gold. A blue with gold. Another kind of turquoise color. I know it's showing blue here, but it's actually more turquoise. It's really beautiful. With gold. Um, and another purple with gold. And um, then, as like the offset color, I have strips of this black, and it's got a really um, subtle de flower design on them. So basically what I have to do at this point now is sew all of these onto here, onto the black ones. And um, then they form like squares. And then the squares get sewn together. And um, yeah, so there's still a lot of work to do. But it is going to be beautiful. That's my boyfriend. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Where are you? That's probably what he's saying. I don't know. I didn't check. I hope he didn't say, like, I'm here. Come down and meet me. Um. No, he's still at work. He's a workaholic. Friday's, like, Friday's the day that everyone's like, yeah, Friday, let's get out of here. No, he's like, oh, Friday, yeah, that's the day I'm going to stay late and work. Whatever. Whatever. Now, okay, so that's for Alex. Then my mom, who also doesn't have a quilt, because <laughs> one of the things I suggested to Alex was I can make him, like, a hexagon quilt. 
And Alex was okay with that. She wanted that until she found another pattern she really liked more. And my, then my mom was like, okay, I want a hexagon quilt in blue and white because she likes stealth. She's the one. Um, I don't know if you remember that quilt at, at that afghan that I was crocheting. Um, still working on it, but it's for her. So now she wants a hexagon quilt. Oh, it's going to take a long time, but so... These are what the little hexagons look like. And you use them, so you put them around here and it will form like a flower. And then you sew all the flowers together. And all of this is done by hand. And I've never hand quilted before, so this is gonna be a new experience. But so, I've got a little box here that's filled with little fabric squares so that I can um, use these little hexagons and make well over a thousand hexagons that can be sewn into flowers. My mom is helping with that. She um, took some of the hexagons uh, template things and some of the fabric back with her and she did cut the squares for me while I was at work and she was here at my apartment. Um, so, we are going to make this hexagon quilt for her and my dad. My dad doesn't even know, I don't think. He's just like, chill, whatever. Um, but, so here's some of the other. I really like this one. That looks like black, but it's actually really a dark blue. And I just, I love that one. Let's see what some of the other fabrics we've got in here. If you're not interested, just tune off. I, I'm not offended. This. Um, some whites. Oh, I love this one. I think that's going to be beautiful. She was thinking about doing yellow centers, but then she was worried it would clash with other things. I think that would have been beautiful, but it's her quilt. She didn't want that. Here's another. This one I love. I love this fabric right here. I think that's so cheerful. It's going to be so beautiful. I can't wait for that one. Um, This one it's just kind of uh, like an old-fashioned looking one. I like it. I'm an old-fashioned type of girl. Um, This. Just a bunch of different fabrics that, um, here's some, put that in there. So my goal with these hexagons is to, um, they come in these packages, y'all here, of 100 in each. And so what I would like to do is 25 a week or 100 a month. And then maybe in a year, I will have enough hexagons to start sewing the flowers. This project is going to take years. Like, hope my mom's not. Well, no. She sewed a few of the hexagons, so now she knows it's going to take years. Let's see. Do we have some other fabrics in here? Oh my gosh, look at this one, guys. Look at this one. Stunning. Stunning. I don't know. When I cross stitch, I cross stitch on like plain fabric more than hand dyed. But when I'm quilting, I just I love fabrics. This one or this one. I mean, they're just so beautiful. Oh, this one. I think as they come together as hexagons and flowers that with mixtures of lights and darks it's just gonna be really beautiful and so that is also one of my main goals for the um each month so let's see my stitch alongs that i'm involved in so fabulous woman from history i need to do all of February in March. For Happily Ever After, I need to finish the outer border January, February, and March. 
for Stitch Rovia. <laughs> I need to do the border, the banner, January, February, and March. Good lord. Uh, mystery sampler, January, February, and March. I'm, you're probably seeing a theme here where it's January, February, or March because I didn't stay caught up. Uh, the granny is no square. I need to do... Uh, well, she calls it March, but she releases it on the 15th of the previous month, so it released February 15th, and the next one's going to come out March 15th. So I would like to... Here's my plan with the Sal's. I would like to um, probably probably kind of start with the Hade or the Granny is No Square and like stay caught up and then work with each of the other ones to get caught up more like that. Um, but we'll see what happens. I don't I don't know honestly, guys. And then of course. Finishing the cottage every month is going to be a main priority for me. Um, the main theme for stit Cross Stitch is Fun for this month is um, Mind Blanking Lion and Lamb or something like that. And because the Hayd Sal has animals in it, it qualifies, and so that means I have to put in 2,000 stitches on it. So I think that's going to go a long way of making sure I stay caught up on the hate sal. And, um, oh my gosh, just looking at this right now though, there's little sheep, there's little sheep on this March one, which are lambs, right? So I could do this one for my 2,000 stitches to extra motivate me to do the March one. I might change my mind here. This is kind of revolutionary. Like I'm sitting here floss tubing and changing my mind. That's how bad I am at sticking to decisions. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope to come back and do another video a week from Monday or something like that as this was just so long and there was so much to show. I mean, I think I'm headed towards 50 minutes now when you put the two videos together. And I just don't want to um, do super long videos. Not because there's anything wrong with super long videos. I, I love watching other people's hour long videos or Jesse Marie's almost two hour one this week. I haven't watched it yet, but two hours, good job. Um, I love watching them, but it's so stressful to record and to fit in the time that I, oh, wait. Okay, a week from this Monday is probably not going to work, but maybe a week from Tuesday. Anyways, um, a week from Monday I have another doctor's appointment, so that's going to be fun. Um... Yeah, so I don't want to go another month and a half almost without recording because it's just, it's a lot. And also my iPad doesn't like have a ton of storage because it's pretty old. It's like iPad 2 or something like that and not a lot of storage, but I mainly just use it for cross stitching. So whatever. Um, rambling, rambling. Okay, I think that's going to end it. I'm sorry it's so split up like this and my mind's just everywhere. Chaos. And I hope you all have a good stitching week. And I love seeing all of your guys' sows that just make me join more sows. Like, I'm still debating the dragon one. Like, I need another sow. I have nine. Nine. I don't need ten. Oh my gosh. What if I go to ten? And Lakeside Needlework said something about a Christmas one. Come on, Christmas themed? <laughs>